accommodations and we like the outdoor activities. Uh, I like the idea that they have a new and fresh program every time I come here. It's never the same thing, always something new and different. The Pines is a resort hotel nestled deep in the heart of the Catskill Mountains of New York State. <sighs> Originally opened in the 1920s, the Pines Resort had grown to over 400 guest rooms and all the modern amenities of a resort. However, due to the tourism decline and financial hardships, the Pines closed its doors for good in 1998. Join us as we venture inside to see what remains. In the 1920s, the Pines Resort began as the Daisy View Hotel, a small facility offering showers and baths with hot and cold water, an amenity in those years. After a forest fire ravaged the area, nothing was left to salvage from the Daisy View Hotel. A new mission-style hotel, the Monica Lounge, was built on that site. Operating until 1946, the Monica Lounge was sold to Harry Cohen and May Schwid. The partners renamed the Pines Hotel and later the Pines Resort. Under their ownership and those after them, the Pines grew to rival the size and amenities of other Catskill resorts, such as Grosslinger's, the Concord, and the Neville Grand. Throughout the late 1940s and until the 1960s, the Pines experienced a period of expansion. A recreation building was constructed, along with a new hotel building adding 35 new rooms. In the final years of the 1950s, an indoor pool was built, along with a bridge connecting the cabana to the bamboo room. Between 1959 and 1961, architect Herbert D. Phillips designed some of the resort's modern style buildings, including a new lobby, card room, and pool. The lobby was particularly extravagant, connecting guests to many of the amenities. These additions were followed in 1962 by the construction of the Persian Room Nightclub, the Wedgwood Room Lounge, and the Victory Room Ballroom. The Parisian Room in particular saw many famous faces, including Buddy Hackett, Joan Rivers, Robert Goulet, and Tony Bennett. The final additions in the mid-1960s included a convention center, more guest rooms, a golf course, and for the winter months, a ski chalet, chairlift, and ice skating rink. With air travel becoming more popular, most Borscht Belt resorts declined. In one last attempt to increase revenue, the Pines developed 78 condos, the Pines County Estates. The owners of these homes were permitted to use the resort's amenities. Plans were drawn up for an additional 600 homes. Much like the Neville, the Pines hoped bringing gambling to the Catskills would bring the much needed revenue to keep these resorts flourishing. However, to the dismay of owners, the bill did not pass. Tragedy struck again for the Pines in 1996, there was a partial roof collapse. Pushing along a little longer, the Pines closed for good in 1998. Following the closure, Fallsburg's estate, LLC, purchased the property and hoped the redevelopment. This, however, never happened. The company filed for bankruptcy. Fallsburg Estates agreed to pay $1 million in back taxes and the property value declined to $500,000. The many buildings demolished or destroyed by fire, believed to be arson, included the Wedgwood Room, the ice skating rink, the Victory Room, the indoor pool, the cafe, and the Parisian Room. Many wood frame buildings were also demolished due to concerns by the town. Many of these buildings, including the clubhouse, were in various stages of collapsing. In 2023, and again in 2024, massive fires destroyed much of what remained of the Pines. We missed the heyday of this abandoned Catskills Resorts, and we're happy to have made it only a few days before the fire in 2024. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We appreciate it. Welcome to all of our new subscribers. Clicking that like button really does help small channels like this one. If you've made it this far, why not click that subscribe button? This also helps let YouTube know that we exist. Until next time, explorers, stay safe.